back at Victoria Road after an intense bank holiday fixture. How are you, how are you and the boys feeling after Monday's draw? Yeah, look, it's taken um, a couple of days to sort of think about it as a group, as a staff and, and as players. And then, yeah, back back into work today. Um, discussed it, analysed it, um, and then started looking forward to the York game as well. But, um, yeah, look, lots of... Lots of good things to take from the game against Southend the other day. Um, and obviously the last period in the game, we sort of said as a staff, could we have done different things differently, perhaps? Um, did we make some bad decisions on the pitch as well? Yes, perhaps. So it's a yeah, collective to get us in such a good position and being so close to winning a game of football. Um, and I have to say as well, Southend obviously piling on the pressure as well as they did. But yeah, look, addressed it, got to learn from it, move ready now for the next game ahead of us. Both Hess and Hill missed out on the game at Southend. Do you have an update on both them and the squad as a whole? Yeah, so um, Connor Lawless come on against Rochdale um, late in the game. And then um, it was right, literally nearly one of the last kicks of the game, chase someone back and went in for a challenge and he's unfortunately hurt his knee. Um, scans have come back and at the moment we don't know whether he's going to need surgery or not, but he's certainly not going to be, it's not going to be a weak thing, it's going to be probably longer than that. So we're going to be without Connor, which was obviously a blow. Um, yeah, and then we've had the results from uh, Hess and Hilly as well. And look, they're both going to miss a period of time as well. They've both got, um, one's got a, a groin strain and, and the other one's got um, a hamstring. So uh, we're probably looking at, you yeah, know, I don't, I don't want to put a time scale on it, but certainly they're going to be missing the foreseeable number of weeks. Whether that leads into longer than a month, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, them two and Connor being out injured obviously are blows because... Hilly and Hess are obviously regulars last year for the team and Connor was one that was really looking for a good season from him as well. He did so much stuff uh, good last year. We just wanted to get him in and around it and kick on with him and you know something like this happening normally he'd been the one coming in for Hess now so it's a blow for Connor as well. But um, look, we'll support all of them, Connor more so probably than them two because he might be longer um, and hopefully have them back, all back as soon as possible. Moving on to Saturday's opponent to York, they've had a Solid start for the season despite a recent defeat to Boston. What can we expect from them? Let that be a good side. Um, obviously, uh, Adam's team at um, Worthing played very good football and very successful in the, in the National South. Um, they went into York really late in the, in the day last year, you know, managed to um, make sure they got themselves to safety and well away from the uh, medication place by the end of the season. And then, like you're saying, you know, pretty much like all of us, had a, a pretty se good start to the season without really getting you know, lots and lots of points, but there's been draws, some wins from as well. And um, yeah, a little bit of a surprise defeat probably for them at home at a weekend. But um, I think that just shows how hard this league is in terms of if you're not quite at your best or another team has a really good day, I think everyone's capable of beating everyone at this level. So um, Boston getting a win against them will obviously be a bit of a setback for them, one they probably didn't think would happen. But um, the results and the performances they put in before that game have been really good. So we know it'd be a tough test and one we're looking forward to, but we know we're going to have to be at our best on Saturday. Finally, we recently brought in Tim McAnola on loan from Chesterfield. What does he bring to the squad? Well, look, Tim was a, a reactive one to the news, like I'm talking to you about Connor and, and Hess. Um, obviously, we've been quite light in that area anyway. Um, and we've obviously Connor, the results on him coming back not good and then obviously then finding out about Hess as well you know we felt like we had to do something um, identified him from you know being in and around the Chesterfield squad last year being really competitive with them um, the attributes that we feel like he'll bring to complement Christian in the midfield area and the other midfielders we've got so look we're really pleased really pleased to get him on board um, a lot of hard work by James behind the scenes to do these sorts of things you know sort of I'm always there to help and support now and have discussions about the players but I'm not the one having to get the deals done now you know James is working really hard and all that sort of stuff for us so look, he was in today um, getting to meet all the boys um, yeah look it gives us obviously a lift in that area where we're a little bit short at the moment um, obviously we went there at the weekend and dropped Reezy one back against South End Phipps he come on and done brilliantly well in that area for us as well for a period of time um, and even Vinny and Luca, you know, had spells in and around that midfield area for us the other day. So we have good, good balance within the squad, but it's probably someone that's more naturally positioned rather than a secondary position. Um, so look, we're, we're happy to have him on board and obviously going to try and help him get better. And um, hopefully the, the loan he has works out well for us and himself. He wants to play football and um, yeah, we're looking forward to working with him.